in the St. Benedict class, I read The Life of St. Benedict, and he was so awesome that it kind of gave me a kick in the pants to say, like, you need to, you need to figure this out. Like, you need to fix the problem. There's stuff wrong with you, you know, because this is, like, the way you're living your life is not okay, you know? I think it really starts uh, with my confirmation. I didn't really want to be Catholic at all. And my parents, like, you, you have to get confirmed. That's just the way it's going to be. And uh, I, I did. And then it was uh, a pretty significant experience. And all of a sudden, I found myself at like three or four holy hours a week out of nowhere. I was, you know, I was really into the faith. And uh, from that point on, I was pretty, pretty into the faith, doing lots of, you know, make sure I'm going to mass, make sure I'm doing like youth group stuff, all this kind of stuff. Uh, and that went on because I got confirmed my freshman year ish. And, uh, all the way through high school, off and on, you know. Uh, but then I ended up thinking about going to seminary. I was like, you know, this might be something I'm interested in, you know. Uh, but I ended up not going, actually. I kind of chickened out, I guess. <laughs> uh, but then, uh, but I might have good reasons to. But uh, uh, then I, after that, I ended up going to BSC. And uh, I drifted away from my faith. I kind of just slowly ended up not practicing really at all. I did not believe in God. Like I had experienced him, but it was, you know, it just kind of drifted away. Fast forward, uh, I went to Mary. After getting my two-year degree in political science, I uh, transferred over and I was getting, I was doing a program for public policy, which is very similar. And uh, I always kind of thought I had a knack for uh, like theology and that kind of stuff. And so I was like, these would be really easy classes to take. I can just clap them. It'll be really easy. <laughs> you can't clap them, I guess. <laughs> Uh, but I did take uh, I take class on St. Benedict. I took class on uh, uh, ecclesiology and all these. I took some religion classes and some Catholics, you know, and uh, they were they were really good. And they kind of I was getting really interested. I took a class called Christian Tradition, and we go through all these early church writings, and it was it was really interesting to me, you know. And I was like seeing how old the church was, and and then uh, in the St. Benedict class, I read the Life of St. Benedict, and he was so awesome that it kind of gave me a kick in the pants to say like, you need to, you need to figure this out. Like you need to fix the problem, There's stuff wrong with you, you know, cause this is like the way you're living your life. It's not okay. You know? And, uh, yeah, I ended up, you know, going to confession, getting that all worked out. And then, um, uh, I got really into my faith after I came back to the church and really started like had a, a real zeal for like studying and just, I just study all of it. Like not like schools, like, I mean, I do schoolwork, but it was really more on my own time, just really digging through, you know, reading like stuff like St. Augustine, or, you know, that kind of stuff, and uh, really digging into the faith. And that was through my junior year. Then my senior year, I was, you know, kind of on the same same path. But then it just came to a point where I was like, this school is just really taking up a lot of my time. Like, and I don't really care about public policy anymore. Like, I just don't care. Like, I really care more about like just learning about God and getting holier. And so this is just not helping at all. And so I ended up just uh, dropping out of college because I was like, this is just not, you know, like, this is not helping me because I had no time to pray. I had no time to really study about things I cared about. Like, and uh, so I did. And it takes a long time to actually drop out of college. Like, it takes like a couple hours, I guess. <laughs> but then I, uh, yeah, so then I had all sorts of time. I could make sure I could always get to mass. I could always get to a holy hour. I could study all the things I actually cared about. And so I did that for quite some time. Uh, but actually, when I was in college, I revisited the idea of seminary before, but then I uh, discerned that it was not what I was supposed to do. Uh, so then, uh, but I ended up going to Lourdes uh, as a personal pilgrimage, you know, to there and to Mont Saint Michel. And uh, it wasn't quite what I expected. But when I left Lourdes, I kind of ended that at a trip back. I didn't really notice at the time, but I kind of realized that there was, that I didn't, that much of my faith was always kind of like thinking, it was intellectual, it was a lot of, but I started to really understand that the Holy Spirit speaks to the heart in a way, not just the head, anything can speak to the head, you know, but this is the, the Lord of your heart is God, and that he was, that I could feel him now, I could really feel him speak in a different way, and he spoke through desire about what you really cared about. And so, like, if you look back, like, I, what I really cared about was God, you know, from that point on. And that what I really wanted to do was actually, like, 
help people find God. You know, like that's what I wanted. You know, that was something I really desired. And so I started revisiting the idea of, you know, maybe I need to, maybe I need to take this in or anything. But I took it a much smarter path, much more even killed. And it's a longer story, but, and then I eventually go, you know, this is something I really want to do, you know? And so uh, I entrusted it to Our Lady. She, she does that kind of thing. And uh, while I was praying the rosary in front of the Blessed Sacrament, it was made very clear that this is something you should, that this is what I want to do. So then I said I would do that, talk to the spiritual director, and he kind of helped me out a bit. And I went to talk to Father Josh, and boom, I'm here.